Hey guys, welcome back to Greenhorn Barbecue Beer. My name is Todd. Sassy's over there gardening. Hi right, guys, today we are going to do a chuck roast. We're going to do it salt, pepper, garlic, Texas style on the Weber kettle. So guys, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to this channel and tell me down in the comments how would you do this differently? That's yeah, about six or seven pounds. Uh, definitely not the size of a brisket. With the prices of meat, especially brisket going on nowadays, this is a good alternative. That with the Weber, and we're gonna use Texas Post Oak. Now, where did I find Texas Post Oak in California, IA? Eh? Well, it wasn't easy. I actually had to go out of state to get it. But we split it up a little bit smaller to chunks that we could use on the Weber. We're using Ridge Charcoal and we're using the snake method guys so we can get that low and slow temperature consistent and I don't have to keep checking in on it you know every 20 minutes that gets kind of old salt pepper and garlic okay guys about 25 percent salt to the coarse ground black pepper and garlic salt mix this up really nice okay guys that's what you ended up with Nice little mixture of SPG, and uh, you know what? That's all we need. Now, I'm going to use some plain old Jane Old uh, yellow mustard as a schmear. You know, I don't know who came up with that word schmear, but I think it's kind of funny. Schmear. Schmear. This is also that time you guys get to massage your meat. <coughs> I really want to get this on here heavy. Did I say this was a beef pot roast? I know a guy at work named Chuck. Not sure if he's got the beef though. The reason we're using coarse ground black pepper, kosher salt, which is coarse, and a little bit of that garlic salt, that's probably the best way to get a nice, nice thick black bark on this, and that's what we're going for. And you guys, if you don't think that we can get a nice black bark on a Weber, stick around. After you put this on the grill, if there was any spots that got rubbed off, you just kind of mend it with a little bit extra. So we're doing a push to get 4,000 subscribers, guys. So if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's pretty easy, it's free, it doesn't cost you a darn thing, and you get updates when we post. And to top this off, I've got four vendors right now that are supporting the channel by giving away some great prizes. Uncle Steve's Shake, Super Clean, Meat Stick, and Grillaholics all have agreed to give some great prizes to a lucky winner. Now, how are you gonna win? Simple, be around when we reach 4,000 subscribers. Then make sure you're subscribed as well. And all you gotta do is comment on as many of our videos as possible. And then you got 48 hours to do that from the time we reach 4,000 subscribers. After that 48 hours, it's closed. And I'm gonna go around and find out who has been commenting the most and giving us the most love. And that person will be announced on the next Saturday night's live stream live and we'll let you know the prizes that you're going to get. All right guys, back to barbecue. All right guys, uh, check it out. Okay, looks like we've got an internal temperature of about 160. Um, let's check its tenderness. Uh, it's actually about 156 there. Not that tender. Not quite where I want it, guys. So the snake's almost done. Um, but I'm going to let it uh, get up to, you know, a little bit better internal temperature here. Um, day's getting kind of long here. Uh, I want to get it wrapped and stuck in the oven. Um, so I'm going to uh, open these vents, get this thing supercharged, try to get up above 165 while I get the oven ready, and uh, then we'll finish it up. Here is chuck roast. 
All right, guys, so this is getting about to be about 165. Now, as you can see, it's shrunk down a little bit. Uh, that's okay. I don't really have anything too burned on this or anything like that. Uh, it looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this little bit of beef broth. Not all this. Of course, I'm going to just really kind of do a little dribble here. Of course, we're double wrapping here, guys. All right, guys, so we got that chuck roast on the Weber right about 10.30 in the morning. It allowed me to do a little maintenance on my razor. Sassy was doing a little bit of gardening. She even went for a swim in the pool. Now it's time to get serious. Into the oven, six hours total, fully wrapped, and we're gonna go to probe tender. Now, if it ends up being eight o'clock, nine o'clock, hopefully it's not that late, so be it. When I poke that foil and feel that meat, with a uh, instant read thermometer, I want to feel butter, guys, butter. So we're going for tenderness. Why the oven? BTU is BTU, guys. I'm not going to waste any fuel on the Weber, the Traeger, or the Yoder. I just want the heat. Here we go. I haven't touched it since we put it in the oven. It smells so beefy, so good. <laughs> So beefy. It's, it's mainly because it is beef, uh, but Ooh. also uh, it's got that beef broth in there. Uh, so beefy. It's got that salt, <laughs> pepper, garlic. Uh, you know, I mean. Oh, I don't imagine how, there's any juice in there. How can you go wrong? There's a little bit of juice. I want to lose the juice, but it's okay. We got a little bit of gravy. That's all right. Ooh, look at that, guys. Oh, can you just pour that in here? Not bad. You know, I like the bark, you know, like I mentioned, this bark was, is really kind of tender, real fragile. Uh, I'm not really sure if there's a right way of cutting this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right down the middle and I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. Ready? Oh, nice. There we go, guys. All right. Now, like I said, we're, uh, we're gonna be doing, doing some gravy with this. Uh, It seems tender. It seems tender. I was gonna do a little droop test, but you know, I got a little fatty vein right there. All right, guys, we got ourselves a potato. We got our chuck roast. All right. First thing I like to do, get a little bit of hot sauce. Yeah. Sour cream. All right. Now I just mash it, guys. I, that's just how I do it, right there. A little chives action going on. A little bit of gravy. I like gravy, guys. This chuck roast likes gravy, too. A little bit of that. Chuck roast baked potato dinner. Yeah. That's Sassy's baked potato she wanted to put on blast. Yeah. <laughs> just to remind you, here's the better baked potato. Oh, brother. I made them both. I can't wait any longer. I got to get me some of this with the gravy. Little chunk of potato, maybe even a dab of sour cream on there. <clears throat> Go in for the kill. Mm -hmm. Beefy, got that SPG going on, pretty decent bark. Side of potatoes with some chives and sour cream and hot sauce. Thanks for watching. I know this is just a really quick video, to show you what you can do with chuck roast. Because the meat prices are cray cray right now. Gotta do whatever we can to keep the barbecue going. Feed your family. Guys, don't forget about our 4,000 subscriber giveaway extravaganza when we reach 4,000 and you're part of it. Be sure to read the description of this video for all the details and we'll see you later.